morning. Uh, first of all, thanks for the invitation to address this audience and talk a little bit on how to empower the communication on this uh, geospatial uh, community. So, uh, we we'll see the, the slides. Okay. okay. So, uh, HP uh, as a company, HP is a 120 billion IT company, probably the the biggest uh, IT provider in the world, uh, is working actually in many industries to transform the way that we work with information. And the geospatial uh, uh, sectors, different sectors in the geospatial industry are no different. Actually, it's a very special case for us because of the amount of data that uh, they manage, because of the complexity of the information, and because of uh, the importance of visualization that uh, has in this decision making. So, uh, really, we think that from HP we can contribute at different levels on empowering this communication. Uh, the first one uh, starts with uh, light format prints. No? Uh, light format prints uh, today are uh, one of the most effective ways to visualize and make decisions. And as worldwide leaders in light format uh, printing devices, we do understand the, the customer needs and actually work on specific uh, devices and solutions for this market. But beyond uh, printing, we are working also in new, innovating ways to visualize data, to make decisions that bridge the paper world, the physical world, and the digital world. Uh, all basically uh, within an environment that uh, provides end-to-end -end IT solutions from uh, servers, uh, networking, storage, uh, workstations, uh, printing, uh, laptops, cloud infrastructure, so basically we can be a one-stop IT provider for your company. So let me start maybe with the first one and begin to discuss after seeing this uh, great uh, visualization devices our colleagues are, are showing, why uh, still uh, light format printing is very relevant for, for all of us. Uh, the fact is, is that in an environment that where you need to access to rich content, to a rich detail, but uh, having the big picture always in mind without having to zoom and pan all the, all, the, all the time, still printing is uh, the most effective way to do this. Uh, you can identify patterns, you can find uh, trends, having this uh, detail with the big picture that helps you basically on decision making, helps you become uh, the more effective uh, way on communicating, uh, helps you uh, to communicate basically your intent uh, on here, basically, we are uh, working in uh, technologies uh, together with the workstation team that, uh, that provide the best color management from basically what you see on your screen to basically what is printed, therefore having a very accurate uh, color reproduction. And at the end, improve the productivity uh, that you have. Uh, and let me put some, some example on different uh, subsectors uh, of, the, of the industry where we are uh, working. Uh, let me start with uh, oil and gas. Uh, we're working, for instance, with uh, Pemex. Pemex, uh, as you know, is the third uh, oil producer in the world. Pemex, at the end of the year, prints thousands and thousands of printouts, printing basically uh, environmental uh, conditions, printing uh, surface uh, conditions, printing sea depth, uh, printing design changes. Uh, also, they print uh, and they work on, on prints to, for all spill uh, contingency plans and response plans. Most of these prints end up uh, to uh, engineers on the sea platforms where they carry these, uh, these plans around the different sections and uh, at the end take decisions, uh, do modifications, go back to the model, update the database. Another example is uh, land terrain and uh, land management where in a sample very similar that was uh, talked uh, uh, before, now we are in spring. Spring and summer really marks the season of uh, fires in some of our geographies. Uh, and uh, specifically on the western part of the US, we work together with different agencies to try to minimize the impact of uh, big wildfires on uh, forest. So really these agencies handle a huge amount of data from environmental conditions, to what is the landscape, what is the forest type, tree type, tree age, where the water sources, and with this, basically, uh, they have a system that identify where the danger spots on the, on the different parts of the, of the West Coast, 
So basically, they sent all this GIS information to teams that actually reside on the, on the local environments, uh, management teams, firefighting teams, where basically they print the, the files using uh, materials like Tyvek, polypropylene, that basically can stand these hostile uh, conditions. And based on this, basically, they do their, their, uh, their work. Very similar to, uh, to this example is a military, military industry also has moved from uh, distributed printing and distributed to really distributing uh, data and printing locally. This is very important in military campaigns where conditions do change very rapidly and basically what you want to make sure is that your soldiers are not lost with uh, uh, data and prints that are not uh, up to date. Uh, one example is on the, one of the last uh, campaigns, the US Army deployed uh, more than 100 like from a printed hosted in trucks where basically they print them with the latest GIS information uh, and uh, basically make the best uh, attack and defense uh, option based on the latest data. Uh, also uh, using this type of, uh, of uh, materials, uh, Tyvek for instance, or silk, or uh, some, uh, some sort of uh, textile, basically to be able to, to carry uh, this around. Cartography, that's another area where not only printing, but digital printing has opened up a, lo a lot of uh, opportunities. Uh, on the past, basically, there was the, uh, the printing method was more uh, analog printing, offset, uh, screen printing, uh, uh, flexo, where you were printing uh, thousand and thousand and prints and uh, basically selling them, providing them with the digital uh, printing technology. You can do once-off, customized prints, opening up new uh, business opportunities for uh, a lot of uh, uh, the cartography institutes. Uh, the city of LA is an example, the Cartography Institute of Catalonia is another example, where basically they have now new business uh, uh, revenue because of this customized uh, printouts that they can do and, and sell. Uh, mining, that's another example. And let me put the example of uh, Peñoles. Uh, Peñoles is a company we have a very special relationship with. Peñoles is the largest uh, silver uh, extraction company on the world, very important in gold and, uh, and, and plum. Uh, Peñoles uses uh, large format prints to improve the productivity of probably the most important activity that they have, which is basically 25 new mineral fields. Uh, what they do is basically they print uh, the mine infrastructure uh, plans, so the mine engineers, when they go into the mines, they do select areas where they want to test, do the hole cuttings, extract minerals to uh, really see what is the richness of this mineral and therefore extend the life of the mine. Uh, they also use uh, this to communicate between remote locations of mines and the central departments, uh, where basically at the remote locations they do red linings, they use uh, web connected uh, large format multifunction devices where they have uh, not only large format printed but large format uh, scanners. They scan uh, the, the modification, the red lining, and obviously they, this, this gets communicated to the central department. So decision making, communication uh, is, a speeding, uh, is a speeding up. But beyond uh, printing, uh, we are working in, uh, in areas that basically uh, will enhance the, the, the experience, the productivity of the different sectors on the geospatial industry. Uh, and to identify this, to define which are the new value vectors that we want to push, to uh, identify which are the uh, design principles that we will give to our R&D uh, department, we do extensive uh, customer research, ethnographic research, anthropological research, contextual inquiry with uh, our customers. Uh, and basically out of this we get uh, insights from the, from the industry. Insights like, for instance, mobility. Mobility is obviously not a surprise, but really what is uh, really interesting to see is how the acceleration of mobility is happening with uh, different of, uh, of your sectors. Uh, the time that uh, engineers, uh, constructors, uh, decision makers spend out of their office is increasing time after time after time. So the need to access to your data, to your content, anytime, anywhere, 24 by 7 is key. Uh, also, collaboration is increasing. Collaboration between different geographies, between different companies to make a project. 
uh, decision making, uh, design is a very iterative uh, process where there is a lot of uh, steps, there is a lot of uh, interaction, there is a lot of editing, there is a lot of sharing. There is a lot of uh, steps and, uh, and jumps between physical pages where information is shared and the digital model. So uh, digital to paper, paper to digital, these steps are, are done very oftenly and not always seamlessly. And then we have the, the, the effects of the economic crisis that uh, has happened in many of our geographies, in many of our companies. Uh, for uh, the same project that you have uh, much, many more companies uh, bidding for it, so you need to differentiate, you need to stand up, you need to sell your idea. Uh, turnaround times are much shorter, so pressure goes up. And obviously, investment capital for your company to do technical investments are uh, slimmer. So, based on this, uh, actually, we have designed uh, the design principles that uh, we're going to uh, work on on the next year to provide uh, solutions. The design principles, like, basically, we will enable our customers to access their content anytime, anywhere. We will enable our customers to share their content with their network. We will work in new specialization technologies that bridge this digital world and the paper world. And we will radically uh, change the solutions that we provide with experience in mind. Ergonomics, simplicity. At the end, we want to transform our uh, devices into information hubs. Uh, information hubs that basically they do on-ramp and off-ramp of uh, data that uh, they help mobility, they help collaboration, they help visualization, they help uh, decision making. So maybe let me put some example on the services that we are currently uh, having on mobility and collaboration. The DesignJet ePrint and Share web service allows you to every time that you send a file to one of our web-enabled large format uh, printers, you create automatically a PDF that is stored on the cloud on your content repository. This content can be accessed uh, anytime, anywhere by you and repurpose it. So you can share it, you can reprint it, you can do remote printing. So basically we are enabling remote printing use cases. Uh, and uh, for instance, you are moving to uh, Shanghai, uh, getting access to the files that you have printed and send this remote printing to your uh, large format printer that, that is at your office in Amsterdam, for instance. Other uh, remote printing or remote access use cases that we're enabling is that, for instance, from the front panel, large front panel that uh, we have in our large format printing, being, being able to browse your content repository and print directly from this without a PC. Very important use cases on construction sites, for instance. Or when you uh, uh, scan a modified a red line uh, light format printer, actually you can select the content repository of choice that you want to send or email to your network of uh, contacts. Uh, one example of a company that uh, has adopted this is a Houston-based uh, company working on uh, storm water lines, managing more than 3,500 miles of, uh, of uh, pipes, uh, where basically they uh, use this, uh, this technology to share modifications that are done on the field and communicate and really uh, speed up the decision uh, process. Now, when I was talking about uh, prints that are modern prints, I was talking about bridging the digital and, uh, and paper world, I was uh, thinking on new ways to visualize complicity. Ways where the paper has much more, much richer information, that the paper is not a static part, where information has been uh, set up. We're uh, envisioning a world, devices, where basically uh, you can add metadata, you can add different information layers to the paper, so you have even much richer context to do uh, decision making. So uh, a world where prints are more than prints, where prints are not the end, but really the beginning. And basically we enrich the pages with digital information, giving more value uh, to you. Finally, I would like to, uh, to end this again with the uh, big umbrella of, uh, of uh, HP uh, as uh, the most uh, important IT provider. Uh, do, having uh, devices like uh, servers and workstations that have uh, been designed together, uh, 
uh, workstation and uh, printers that have been designed together, cloud infrastructure, laptops, uh, tablets. Uh, again, uh, the, the benefit of one-stop uh, uh, shopping with the benefit of uh, better together between the pieces that combine the, the portfolio of, uh, of HP. So, uh, thanks a lot for uh, your attention. Uh, the three main points I want to uh, convey, importance and relevance of uh, light form prints in the current uh, workflow, uh, things coming on the invention and innovation pipeline to enhance uh, visualization and to bridge the world of paper and digital, and obviously uh, all of these without the insight of the big umbrella of, uh, of HP Corporation. Thanks.